Hey everyone, this is Mwesu Gwamguwa Bosco, the Head Teacher Wisdom Center, that is uh, Bugesera in Karumuna. Uh, yes, as usual, I'm your science teacher, and uh, yes, today I'm here that again we go on looking at different work. So, uh, majorly you might need us, and then uh, it's very clear and very easy, always check uh, on the contacts here. If you have any query, you can check, easily you can get, uh, get us from these contacts. You can follow us, check out the emails, on our websites, it's very easy, that we can help you for any time that you need, you need, your, you need your, our help, please check, check on our contacts, we shall help you, we are, we are, we are there for you. So uh, today's topic specifically, uh, as we move on, we are going to look at the human body. And uh, in the human body here for this time, we want to look at the unit uh, which is, uh, uh, which, you, which, which will be specifically looking at uh, this circulatory system. So here uh, we can look at uh, different systems in the body. Actually, if you check, the body is made up of very many systems. Digestive system, respiratory system, uh, urinary system. Uh, yes, but for this time and the human body, we want to check, look at majorly uh, the system of blood circulation, which is this circulatory uh, system. So uh, let us uh, look at this picture to have a clear view uh, of the system of blood circulation. Majorly here, uh, we shall look at also uh, the major three organs of this circulatory system. This is very important. But before we go ahead, we need to check ourselves by looking at some of these pictures here to give us a clear understanding, uh, yes, about the human body. Yes, so check, look at these pictures here. We have picture, uh, pictures here in A and then pictures in B. So looking at pictures in A here, yes, what's wrong? What do you see here? Yes, uh, look at the man here. Yes, the young boys and the girl, they are actually surprised. They are like saying, what's this? So when you go in, into picture B, yes, so the man goes to the doctor, goes to the nurse uh, for blood checkup, to check his blood pressure, yes. You can see, yeah, and the doctor tells, the nurse tells him, uh, yes, that your blood pressure is too high. So look at his weight. Yes, this also can show you, can simply see that, uh, if you look at this, uh, there's, uh, there's less care, yes, of the human body. So if we don't care for uh, the human body, there are many problems that you can, like, you like it to get, uh, major uh, referring to blood circulation or to blood related. So it's very important to make uh, our blood system very strong, yes, by ensuring good health care. So let us uh, move on, that I shall move and we keep seeing uh, different solutions for this. So uh, this can simply take us to the, to at least look at how we can define properly this circulatory system. So the main systems as we say in the body, and for now we're looking at uh, simply circulatory system. And this simply uh, the body's transport system. What do we mean by this when we say transport system? Just looking at uh, the common transport, okay, within our daily life, like a moving movement of, of people and goods from different places, let's say from Kigali to provinces, you'll find that uh, they are need, we need to move, okay? And there are different transport means, okay? Yes, so checking that, on that, the body also has got the transport system, and that's what we are referring to this criteria uh, system simply uh, re, uh, looking at uh, uh, blood movement or transportation in the body. So looking at this, uh, we need to see uh, which are the food nutrients or majorly, uh, let's say, you know, materials in the body that can be carried around by blood or within the system of blood circulation. Uh, simply here, you'll find that uh, in the body, uh, there are men uh, materials that are transported or carried around the body. Majorly, you can talk about digestive food or food nutrients. Uh, water is also transported around the body. Uh, then we have hormones, the minerals, mineral salts. Uh, talk about waste products like carbon dioxide. Yes, uh, oxygen. All these materials or substances have to be carried around the body. If the waste products can be carried to the parts for, for excretion, put out of the body. So 
all these and then other useful substances have to be taken different part, different parts for body growth and for other proper functions of the body parts. So this is very important. So the movement of all these food nutrients is done under one system, and that is simply the circulatory system. Okay, that's why we define it as the body's transport system, where we see different nutrients, uh, food nutrients, water, hormones, mineral salts, we spot as like carbon dioxide, oxygen, they are transported around the body or different parts of the body by the help of the system of blood circulation, which is simply the circulatory system. So moving on here, uh, this can give us to the, look at simply the main functions of the human circulatory system. So we need to see what are the importance of, of the system made in the body. Uh, we can see that it uh, helps to transport hormones to the glands, okay? Uh, okay, and the hormones simply, I used to look, we say last time, can be the chemical compounds or chemical substances that regulate different body cells, okay, in the body. Uh, so we can check on other functions of the system of the uh, circulatory system. Majorly, uh, check uh, transport oxygen to blood cells. So this system still can transport uh, digested food, nutrients, to cells of the body or different parts of the body, okay? Uh, we shall look at this as we move on. Uh, we see from different organs which blood vessels can transport to food nutrients or blood around the body. Uh, then still uh, transport carbon dioxide from cells to excretal organs or to organs that can remove the waste from the body. Yes, stock of carbon dioxide majorly, yes, will be sent, let's say, to the lungs for, for excretion or removal from the body. And then uh, also, the um, system of blood circulation can also help uh, in transportation of water. Water has to move different parts of the body. Yeah, this is transporting for nutrients and the rest. So this is very important for body growth, including the body parts. So we need water in our body. So this is simply done due to the system simply of human blood circulation. And then uh, uh, also transport mineral salts, as we said. So these are simply, uh, you can see, transportation of different material in the body uh, is done by the system of circulatory system in the body. Just like as we say, the, 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 the transport in the common areas or environment, movement of things from places to places. We need it transport, we need different means. Okay, the vehicles, the what, like that. So looking at this also in the body, uh, different materials are transported around the body. So we can simply look at this. If you asked, uh, the functions of the human circulatory system simply uh, transport hormones to the glands, stock of transport oxygen to body cells, still as we say, transport digested food for nutrients, and talk of transporting carbon dioxide, which is a waste product, and also transport water. Yes, still transport mineral salts. This is very important as we look at uh, blood circulation in the body. Uh, so uh, this can push us to actually looking at uh, the main organs of the human circulatory system. So looking at the, uh, looking at uh, blood circulation majorly or in the body, how blood moves in the body. Simply, we need to check. We have uh, actually uh, organs that are very important when we talk about the system of blood circulation, which is the circulatory system. So we can simply uh, look at these organs. So uh, you'll be specifically asked most of the time, what are the three main organs of the human circulatory system? Uh, simply, uh, this, this, we can look at this. The major, the, one of the major organs we have, the heart. So uh, the heart is simply a muscular pumping organ Okay, of the body. Yes, sometimes it's also referred to the pump of the body because it pumps blood to different parts. And then uh, another major, major organ will be the blood vessels. Blood vessels, simply they are tubes that carry blood around the body. Yes, there are different types of blood vessels. We shall look at the, the, the uh, arteries, the capillaries, the veins. So those are blood vessels. So we shall look at this as we move on. 
and details. And then another major part, okay, of the this, this system of blood circulation, we have blood. So blood simply uh, can be the transport fluid in the body, okay, or a red liquid if in the body. So majorly we have major three organs of the circulatory system, and that is the heart, okay, blood vessels, and blood. So sometimes you can be asked the major two organs, so they can talk over the heart and the blood vessels. So when we bring to three, then we can also bring in the blood as the third major organ of the system of blood circulation. Yes, so looking at this, to understand properly uh, how blood, let's say, circulates or moves around the body, we need to look at uh, uh, this video. So just watch this video, and then uh, we can go on answering different questions. So we can follow this link and watch a video about blood circulation. You can feel your heart thudding away every time you put your hand to your chest. But do you have any idea what's really going on in there? or what keeps your heart ticking as it should? Every day, your heart beats about 100,000 times, sending 2,000 gallons of blood, surging through your body. Although, it's no bigger than your fist, your heart has the mighty job of keeping the blood, flowing through 60,000 miles of blood vessels, that feed your organs and tissues. Food Water and oxygen are essential for the existence of human life. Blood transports all these substances through various channels called blood vessels. Blood vessels involves arteries, veins, capillaries, to keep the blood flowing throughout our body. We have a pumping system and the heart is the pump which is composed of muscle that pumps blood throughout the body beating approximately 72 times per minute of our lives the human heart has four chambers the right atrium the left atrium the right ventricle and the left ventricle. There are four valves in the heart. These valves are tricuspid valve, mitral valve, aortic valve, pulmonic valve. These valves are one-way valves. Now, you have seen the structure of the heart. Let us find out how it works. The blood becomes oxygen-rich by absorbing oxygen in the lungs. The function of the heart starts when oxygenated blood is carried from the lungs to the left atrium of the heart by means of the pulmonary veins. The left atrium relaxes, this blood is pumped into the heart. When the left atrium contracts, the left ventricle relaxes simultaneously. The left atrium pushes the blood into the left ventricle through the one-way valve. When the left ventricle contracts, the blood is pumped into the aorta, which carries oxygenated blood to the different parts of the body, except the lungs. Oxygenated blood reaches the different parts of the body through the blood vessels called the arteries. The arteries gets branched into capillaries, which then reaches to the different organs of the body. The blood then becomes deoxygenated, and the blood capillaries gets mixed and form thicker blood vessels called the veins. The veins carry deoxygenated blood to the heart. The blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood to heart are known as the vena cava. The deoxygenated blood from different parts of body 
enters the upper right chamber of the heart, which is called the right atrium. The right atrium gets contracted, allowing the blood to flow into the right ventricle, which contracts with the expansion of the right atrium through the one-way valve. The right ventricle then contracts, pushing the blood into the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery carries the deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation. The lungs oxygenate the blood by exchanging of gases and flows back into the heart through the pulmonary vein and starts the circulatory cycle all over again. Yes, so uh, having watched the video uh, about uh, blood circulation, majorly in the body, uh, we can be able to answer different questions. So uh, let us look at these questions and then at least we see what at least what have we uh, got from this video, because it gives us a clear understanding of how blood moves within the body, majorly looking at the human blood circulation uh, within the body. So let us look at uh, activity one. Uh, yes, looking at uh, the different parts of the questions from the, the video we have watched just now. So you can see here from our video, uh, we asked, uh, yes, the heart beats about as times a day. Yes, so from the video, how many times does the heart beats, uh, yes, at least see on, on average a day? So yes, you can answer this from the video we have watched. Then also we continued here. And then you asked, and that times per minute. Yes, uh, simply we need to see, yes, how many times that the heart beats per minute? Yes, mm. so this also we can simply answer uh, from the video I've watched properly, gives us a clear understanding. Yes, uh, because from the video we have looked, up, looked at different parts, looking at uh, the, the heartbeat, uh, let's say per day, looking at the heartbeat, let's say per minute. We went on uh, in the video looking at different things in the video, like uh, uh, look at the, uh, the materials which can be transported around the body. So look at a couple of them so you can check and have to answer. Yes, so from the video still, uh, also looked at the blood vessels in the body, uh, the aorta, talking about pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, looking at uh, the pulmonary, pulmonary uh, Yes, those are the major arteries, okay? Uh, talking about uh, the chambers of the heart, okay? The upper chambers, lower chambers. Yes, so look at the lower chambers being the, the, the atria, okay? Or atrium. And then uh, we look at left atrium, right atrium. Checking on the lower chambers, which are the ventricles. Seeing the right ventricle, left ventricle. Yes, and then also we come looking at uh, 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 the, the valves. The valves simply prevent backflow of blood in the body. So uh, from that video, actually, we can simply answer a number of questions. So check on this. So now what we also asked, name any two substances transported by blood around the body. Yes, so still we can answer from that video we have watched. And then uh, number three, we also asked, uh, blood transports substances through various channels, okay, called blood vessels. So we asked blood vessels involved, okay, so we can mention three of them here and then, yes, here. Then see so here we have the next number, which we asked, what name is given the pumping organ of the body? Yes, so from the video I've been watching, you can see the organ that have been pumping blood to different parts of the body. Yes, what name is that given to that? So you can be able to answer that. Um, then uh, this can push us, yes, to more questions. You can still answer this. You asked right down the four chambers of the heart. Yes, you have looked at that. You can answer that. And then uh, the type of blood carried along the iota, you can see. Out of current blood of that, as we've been uh, watching from the video. And then still in our video, you can see, we are asked more, yes, what's the importance of valves during blood circulation? We've been seeing how blood flowing, controlling the flow of blood. So, yes. And then uh, why does the oxygenated blood go to lungs? You can see simply, blood go to lungs, yes, which had no oxygen. So we can simply look at that, answer that. And then lastly, uh, look at the difference between uh, 
deoxygenated blood and then oxygenated blood. What's the difference between these two? Okay, this now can give us a, a clear understanding from the peak of there about blood circulation. So uh, we can uh, go ahead and uh, still look at the heart. As we said, the heart is one of the major organs of the circulatory system. So looking at this, you can say the heart has four chambers, okay? The two upper chambers and the two lower chambers. The upper chambers are simply called atrium. So atrium uh, will be the singular form, and then in the probe, we shall say atria, that's the plural form. So it'll be called atria or auricles. So, and then the lower chambers will be called ventricle or ventricles. And so, and then, uh, so the, the, definitely you can simply look at this and say, from uh, the heart, you can see your right side of the heart becomes left side, and then uh, uh, the left side of uh, your left side, yes, becomes the right side of the heart. Yes, so this can give us uh, a clear view of this. You can say, uh, can have the right atrium, uh, the left atrium, these will be the upper chambers. And then uh, lower chambers, look at uh, the right ventricle and then the left ventricle. Yes. Uh, so looking at this simply, it's quite very easy to understand this. Uh, and then, uh, yes, we, we are going to have a simple kind of demonstration. Yes, as we are saying, uh, looking at the, the majorly, uh, the four chambers of the heart, we said that we have a right atrium, the left atrium, left ventricle, and, and then, uh, yes, right ventricle. Uh, simply, this is quite easy to understand, okay? Uh, yes, ask yourself uh, this. Have you ever actually identified that just the palm, your palm, okay, can, you, can give you just the shape of the heart and you pick simply from there? Yes, look at this. So we can get this using your palm. You can simply have a clear understanding of the four chambers of the heart. Yes, even the blood, the blood vessels, you're going to check that. So do this, just use your left hand, turn. How do you see this? Do you see your, your palm turning? It appears like the heart. So for just ease you of understanding the parts of the heart, let's say the chambers, yes, simply use your left hand like this. Yes, divide here, just like this. Okay, how for the four chambers, do you see? Okay, uh, as I said, uh, on your left side, okay, yes, become the right side of the heart, not so. And then your right side will become the left side of the heart. So we can go, looking at this. So dividing just our, our back part of the palm, it gives you the four chambers of the heart, which you can't easily forget. This is a trick which you can be using in time. Let us go. So you can name this, let's say number one. Okay, good. Number one, we can put here as number two. Okay, yes. Bring here as your number four. Okay, uh, yes. And then bring here number five. Good. So these numbers can, this can be changed. You can even name here one, two, three, four, the way you want. So they can even change, put letters of alphabet. That's not a problem. But the only thing that we make, we make sure that we have the four chambers. So from the back part of your palm, we can see, yes, we have four chambers. One, two, three, four. These are four rooms. So yes, look at them. Um, the top part, okay? On your left side, this becomes the right atrium because we say that the upper chambers are called atria, okay? The lower chambers are called ventricle. So one and two, they are simply atria or auricles. So if we take the word atrium, we can say number one will be right atrium simply because it's on the left. And we say it, on your left side will be right side of the heart, and on your right side will be the left side of the heart. So moving to the left, to your left, to your right side, 
Yes, we get number two, the upper chamber. This will be the left atrium, simply because it is on our right side. Then now we can move down the lower chambers. Remember, we say that the lower chambers of the heart are simply referred to ventricles. Yeah, so now, let us go to the back part of, our, our, of the palm again. Check down here. On your left side, okay, we have number four. So we said left side becomes right side, and the lower chambers are called ventricles. So we can say, uh, yes, right ventricle. That's number four, okay? Then now we can move to this side, your right side of the heart, of the hand. We said your right side, okay, of your body, that becomes left side of the heart. So this simply now, number five, will become the left ventricle. Oh, wow, this becomes very easy for you. So never forget this. You can simply say, uh, right atrium, left atrium, okay? Coming down the ventricles, so we go on the right side of the heart, you can say, yes, right ventricle, and then on the left, it will be, uh, on the right side of, the, of, of your body, it will be left ventricle. So this simply gives us a clear understanding of the chambers of the heart. When we come, okay, yes, when you go to the blood vessels, we shall see that these ones will, represent the, will be representing the blood vessels. We shall see, okay? This will be representing, like, uh, let's say, vena cava, okay? We shall look at uh, this, will represent the pulmonary artery, okay? And then also this finger will also represent the, uh, yes, aorta as we move on. And the coming to this will represent the pulmonary vein, which will carry blood from the lungs back to the heart. Okay? Yes. So, as we move on, always remember, this is a trick for you to remember. I remind you, we say that uh, simply, yes, looking at the four chambers of the heart, we divide, okay, just fast once, and this gives us uh, the right side and the left side, because your left side becomes right side of the heart. And your right, si your right side, yes, your right side becomes left. Good. So left side, now right side of the heart. And then down, we have the lower chambers and up, upper chambers. The upper chambers are called auricles or atria. Okay? One is called atrium. And then Lower chambers are simply referred to as ventricles. So we can simply say right auricle and then here left auricle because it is on the right side. And then down here we shall say right ventricle because it is on your left side. And then right left ventricle, left ventricle because it's on your right side. So these are the four chambers. Very good. So keep this. It will help you always remember the chambers of the heart and simply uh, the blood vessels up. The fingers show blood vessels, therefore, and then the chambers, parts, the divisions show the parts, majorly the parts of the heart as the chambers of the heart. Yes, so with this understanding or clear view, we can simply move on. Uh, Yes, so you have seen yeah, uh, the heart is simply connected to the four main blood vessels, okay? Yes, we talked of the vena cava, okay? Now uh, we have pulmonary artery, uh, pulmonary vein, and then iota. Yes, so from just uh, the demonstration of just uh, the palm, the back part of the palm, we have seen the fingers will be representing the blood vessels, which are the vena cava, uh, pulmonary artery, pulmonary vein, and then iota. Yes? Then simply, yes, the divisions down, they show the chambers of the heart. Uh, and this is simply give a, a clear part, helping us to look at an understanding of the parts of the heart. Yes, remember, the main function of the heart is simply to pump blood. They can ask you in exams. 
Uh, what is the function? What is the function of the heart? Simply, the heart pumps blood around the body. And then, taking a note, the heart uh, is made up of cardiac muscles. Simply, muscles are referred to as cardiac muscles. Yes, these are muscles of the internal organs, okay, uh, which are, are simply uh, involuntary muscles. We can't control uh, their actions. Uh, as you have looked at the demonstration, yes, we can uh, simply look at these parts which I've been seeing here, the parts of the heart from the hand, okay? You can see uh, we talked of majorly parts like, uh, uh, yes, the right atrium, you can see here on your left side, and then also went down, okay, the right ventricle, okay? And then uh, coming to this side, we can see on, uh, on, your, on your right, Okay, yes, we can see uh, like uh, the left atrium, this part down up here, and then down the left ventricle. So these four are the chambers of the heart. Uh, and then simply uh, moving on, uh, we can see uh, other blood vessels like uh, the major artery in the body. You can see the aorta, uh, which pumps blood to deflate to all parts of the body from the heart, all parts of the body. And then simply moving on, uh, you have the major vein, which is uh, the vena cover. We have the superior vena cover and then uh, the inferior vena cover. The upper vena cover simply referred to as the superior vena cover and then lower vena cover, carrying blood from all lower body parts back to the heart. That is simply the inferior vena cover. Then the other blood vessels like uh, have the, uh, the pulmonary, arter pulmonary, pulmonary artery, and then now uh, we have the pulmonary vein. Pulmonary artery carries blood, let's say uh, blood from the heart that has no oxygen to the lungs to get oxygen, okay, to drop carbon dioxide and then get peak oxygen. Then from there it will be brought back, okay, along the pulmonary vein, that blood with the oxygen, to back to the heart. Uh, so uh, this can help us look at uh, majorly if you ask parts of the heart. And then, uh, okay, from there we have other internal parts of the heart in case you asked, okay, you can check, look on this. What you've been discussing majorly are looking at uh, uh, part, parts of the heart. Yes, we began looking at the major four chambers, all the four chambers of the heart, as we said, yes. This simple, this room here is the right atrium. And then the downer part is the right ventricle. Okay? The upper on, on, on your right side, simply the right, uh, sorry, the left atrium. And then on your right side, the lower chamber is the left ventricle. Because uh, the chambers of the heart down are simply referred to as uh, ventricles. And then the upper part, they are the auricles. Yes, we have discussed other parts of the heart, like the, the blood vessels, which we're representing using the fingers, okay? Yes, we said here, all our blood from our other parts of the body back to the heart moves along the vena cava, okay? Yes, back to the heart. And then as it enters the heart, simply, uh, yes, it enters reaching the right atrium, uh, which or uh, develop pressure, okay, and uh, opens uh, through the tricuspid valve, moving down to the ventricles, okay, the right ventricle. And then here blood will be pushed along the pulmonary artery when the, when the, when the, the, uh, the seminal valves open, pushing blood to the lungs. And then from the lungs, blood will get back along the pulmonary vein, okay? This blood with oxygen entering okay, by the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood will flow down to the, le to the left ventricle where it will be pumped along the iota. Simply, this side of the heart has got, has got thicker walls or thick muscles because uh, this left side of the heart or the left ventricle pumps blood along long distances. Let's say from the heart along the iota to all body parts, to the upper part and lower parts. Uh, yes, 
So uh, remember, this is very important to note about the heart, as we said. The heart is protected by the rib cage. Okay, you can be asked about this. This is very good. And then uh, we also talked about the pump, the heartbeat, majorly per minute, is specifically 72 times. Uh, so this simply gives us a, a clear move. So uh, looking at this, okay, uh, this has given us a, a clear understanding, okay, of the four parts majorly. Uh, we shall look at uh, the movement of blood more as we get back in the second lesson. But for this time, uh, we can end here for this time. But remember, uh, in our lesson here, uh, we looked at uh, 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 these parts. We say that uh, majorly looking at uh, uh, the system of blood circulation, we find that uh, there are majorly four organs, sorry, there are three organs that form this circulatory system, or the body's transport system, made up of the heart, the blood vessels, okay, and blood. Yes, so looking at this, we went ahead and looked at the, and looked at the heart. You saw uh, from our demonstration, looking at using the, the back part of the palm, uh, we saw uh, the four chambers of the heart. Yes, uh, where we had the upper chambers, which are the atria, lower chambers, the ventricles. This was very clear. And we say that on your left side of the hand gives the right side of the heart, okay? And then your right uh, side, okay, of the hand also gives the left side of the heart. Uh, yes, this gives you uh, the right ventricle, okay, on your left, and then up will give you the right auricle on your left. And then on your right, it will give you the left ventricle, okay, and then gives you the right ventricle. This was very clear to us, and uh, keep this, always use your back part. Remember here we said, yes, uh, here will be the right, uh, right atrium, uh, left atrium, down here, uh, the right ventricle, and then left ventricle. Remember, the blood vessels using the fingers. That was, uh, we had the vena cava, okay? And then uh, the second finger that gives us the pulmonary artery. Yes, then coming to the third one gives us the iota, which takes blood to all body parts. And then lastly, remember our finger lastly, the fourth one gives you the pulmonary vein, carrying blood from lungs back to the heart. Yes, blood with oxygen. So please remember this technique can help you to remember all the parts, majorly the parts of the heart, majorly the uh, blood vessels, and then the chambers of the heart. So we we'll end here for, the for, for now, but we shall keep on giving you, uh, providing lessons. So what you have to do, always uh, follow us on BTN TV, always watch our lessons. Uh, check uh, watch uh, the YouTube on YouTube. We'll be getting them on the website, uh, the Wisdom Center website. We'll be getting questions for revision. More questions also you can find us uh, um, on WhatsApp. We'll also be getting them. Check on our contacts. We'll be getting questions for revision, for clear understanding about uh, all lessons we give you. So yeah, thank you for following us.